Good morning guys! How are we all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I don't have too long to sort of sit and chat this morning and intro this vlog because I've got a flight to catch. I am going away today. Um, where do I sort of begin to explain the situation and I don't have long and I need to do my makeup at the same time. As you have seen from the title of this video, you guys are going to be coming away with me in this vlog. Very exciting. I feel like I should be saying, oh I'm a little bit nervous. I actually don't think I am. I went to say it then and I thought, you know I'm not nervous. I'll be I am kind of. I'll say kind of because it's, it's actually really not. I'm kind of going on a solo trip today um, for a couple of nights to Ibiza. That sounds so much more like that. I actually need to explain because it's not a solo trip to Ibiza whatsoever. Um, I am heading to Ibiza on my own. I'm actually heading over there for a retreat. Me retreating. I'm retreating. I'm retreating away. So yeah, I'm heading off to a, kind of like a health and wellness retreat in Ibiza, which is like opposite of me total opposite of me i know i'm fully away probably thinking like molly what like you're not health and wellness like you are not a retreat and you are not health and wellness well guess what guys for this morning and for this week okay we're just gonna pretend that i am all right anyway it's just a couple of nights in ibiza with a woman called briny deary and another woman called rhodes ferguson she's a nutritionist a few of you may have actually seen briny deary on instagram she's a pilates instructor i have met her before she's absolutely lovely i was actually meant to be going away on this retreat with Erin and basically long, very boring long story short Erin had to send her passport off because it was expiring and unfortunately it didn't make it back in time we're still kind of hopeful this morning that it might turn up but I feel like I've kind of given up hope now I will, I will be completely honest a few different people did say they'd actually come with me but you know what I actually thought maybe this is a sign from God or maybe this is just like a sign I don't know from the universe that I actually maybe could do like a little solo trip and it's not even a solo trip because I'm obviously like meeting women there but I'll be like in a room by myself I'll be going there by myself and actually I think if anything it's, it's slightly more daunting than a completely solo trip because I'll be meeting like all these amazing women that are also going on the retreat when I get there and stuff and I will be completely by myself which actually honestly like it doesn't scare me like I flipping love doing things by myself like I lived by myself before I met Tommy for two years a year two years i think it was um and honestly like it was so beneficial to me I, I feel like it really helped me learn to be comfortable in my own company and not to like always need to be around people to feel happy and i don't know why so honestly i just really enjoy the peace and quiet of like being alone sometimes like i do I've always been that way literally for like as long as I can remember and I'm probably hopefully will make some friends like she's in her making friends era guys everywhere I'm going at the minute I seem to be like being way more social like who is this girl like I literally oh god I'm cringing myself out anyway another reason this is like a bit of a long story I'll try and keep it really short but another reason why I didn't think I'd be going um away to Ibiza over the next couple of days is because I actually haven't been very well um surprise surprise i feel like my immune system is actually just like it's kaput um but yeah i haven't been very well the last few days and i actually ended up having to go to the doctors the other day a few weeks ago i went to the doctors to try and get a blood test because i was just convinced that my iron levels were low like and even all of you guys on here have been commenting and dming me saying like your iron levels are definitely low like you're talking about having pale lips you're talking about having um constantly chewing ice and always being tired like literally like you are anemic so i was like right I'm, I'm gonna go and get a blood test anyway went for the blood test they put the needle in my arm could they get anything out of me no they could not could not get a droplet of blood out of me which is just just gorgeous so like i went through the whole pain of having it done and the whole anxiety of needle in the arm and then i didn't even get the blood test done so that was really not ideal a few days ago i was literally just feeling so unwell like i was basically in bed for three days like oh on mother's day we had so many lovely plans we were going to go for a lovely roast dinner and i couldn't get out of bed the whole entire day like on mother's day i was so ill but i wasn't ill but i just felt like i had literally been hit by a bus like i felt like my body was in pieces my throat was killing me um i just couldn't stop sleeping i was sleeping all day sleeping all night tommy was in saudi arabia for his brother's fight and i was taking care of bambi by myself i was feeling like literally on death's door which was not fun but made it through the other side anyway i went to the doctors and i literally was like i am not leaving this doctor's surgery until i have had a blood test like i am not leaving I drank about a million liters of water that morning because that's meant to really really help with like letting the blood flow out of you and it worked sorry if you don't like this conversation because if i was listening to this i'd be like can you actually shut up um 
because some people don't want to hear about that like me but yeah anyway it worked I got my blood test done and I got the results back that same night and basically when I was 17 sorry I feel like I'm I said I didn't have long to talk this morning but here I am when I was 17 I had glandular fever love that yeah I had glandular fever and I was really not well with it um and the days over the last week that I was feeling really really unwell I was like not gonna lie feels like glandular fever I was like this literally even though I was 17 when I had it it really stuck with me because I was so unwell and I was like I literally feel exactly how I felt when I had glandular fever anyway doctor rang she was like yeah uh, you've got glandular fever again I was like absolutely stunning really stunning just what you want but the thing is with glandular fever is that there's no antibiotics you can take there's no medication you can go on it's literally just rest and like painkillers um <laughs> So that's just great. That's literally stunning. I had a filter shoot yesterday, which Fran was adamant, like, don't, don't come on. Like, you don't need to come to the shoot, like, to stay in bed, like, rest this off, like, you're not well. But I went on the shoot because I really didn't want to let everyone down. Honestly, I realised that actually staying active and doing things and getting out of the house is the only way I feel better. If I stay in the house and stay in bed, like, I genuinely feel like my symptoms are worse and I feel ten times worse if I, like get out stay active and like try and keep my body moving and keep myself distracted like i actually feel much better so for everyone that's probably thinking like i'm being selfish and i can pass it to everyone it's you can only pass glandular fever by saliva so unless i'm going to be kissing any of the girls in this retreat which i can assure you is not going to be happening i did check with my doctor she was like it's absolutely fine because you could literally only catch it if you were to like kiss someone so sorry tommy honestly i've actually woken up feeling so much better today and if i'd woken up feeling really really unwell like i probably wouldn't have been going today i actually think if anything it might really do me good because there's going to be an incredible nutritionist there rose ferguson she's like one of the best nutritionists in the country so i feel like it would probably make sense for me to go rest recuperate i've already said i'm not going to be doing any of like the fitness stuff because i literally can't breathe after walking up the stairs sorry this has been the longest rambliest intro ever and i said it was just gonna be a quick one but yeah i honestly have a feeling i have this weird feeling that my glandular fever from when i was 17 like that it never really went away that's just literally how i feel and they do say that with glandular fever like it always kind of once you've had it it always lays lays dormant in your body like it sort of circulates and honestly like i i can vouch for that because i genuinely feel like when i was 17 i had it so bad and i i don't, honestly don't know if i ever recovered and i yeah and that sounds dramatic that was like a really strange story very weird intro um but yeah i am fine i just thought i'd fill you guys in on on that situation that's been happening the last week oh i think that might be my coffee that i ordered <laughs> literally like just a second got out of bed like i've not even checked to see if i've got any sleep in my eyes or anything in fact i should probably just do that one second i have been in IV for a couple of days now but you know me i feel like at this point we know i kind of have to get my bearings especially in this situation i really needed to get my bearings before i was ready to whip out my camera and start vlogging um especially because i didn't know anybody here and i kind of just needed to sort of make some friends and even though today i'm definitely going to take it easy yesterday was i think quite an intense day we did a hike we did a really hard pilates class and obviously as you guys know i did say that coming out here i wasn't going to do any of like the physical activities but i have this like really big thing about being a spoil sport like i hate hate being that person that like say if you're at a theme park and like everyone wants to go on like a big roller coaster you will never catch me being that person that's like nah like even if it's something that I really really don't want to do like I normally will always still do it just because I don't like being that party pooper um so yeah even though I probably potentially shouldn't have I did still go on the hike and I actually am so glad I did because it wasn't too crazy hard I knew it was going to be healthy food I knew it was going to be like nutritious healthy food but this is like a whole other level of like health i'm literally like this has made me realize how unhealthy i eat at home and also the amount i eat at home like it's actually not normal i yeah because everyone's like coping fine everyone's like yeah lovely like this is great and i'm just here like 
oh like I'm just gonna quickly wash my face i showered and washed my hair last night because my hair was just so greasy I, ideally i didn't really want to wash my hair whilst i was out here but it was literally so greasy that i had to wash it last night i really need to do a room tour and show you around my room because you guys will literally die i've been staying in a castle like they gave me the tower room, which is three floors of like Princess Fiona vibes. Honestly, I, I keep making a joke saying I feel like Princess Fiona. Cleanser I'm using at the minute. This is the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. This is the one I've had in my drawer for ages actually. Oh my gosh, it's kind of gunky. Um, but this has got like little exfoliating balls in it as well as being a cleanser. So I really like that. I'm so glad I came out here though like I've had literally nothing to worry about like I anticipated I've made some really really lovely friends out here like everyone's been so lovely and I think everyone was quite aware that I came here by myself because I was the only person that came like as one everyone came with a friend or with a plus one everyone was like been very aware that I'm here by myself and has made like such an effort to make me feel like not by myself and like everyone's just been so flipping lovely and always i feel like you guys probably wouldn't know this about me but i can be a little bit antisocial sometimes like i don't i don't know i'm really bad i love i hate i hate small talk like in any situation where like i will need to small talk someone or like be like oh, how's the weather how's the kids like, i don't know like i just i don't I can't bear small talk. I'm gonna say that in the past tense, I couldn't bear small talk. So I feel like I've been doing like bits of small talk on on this trip, but like in a nice way, and like it, it hasn't bothered me. And like I've kind of like it's been nice. Um, so yeah, I feel like maybe I'm in like a new stage of life where like I'm I don't know. Like I don't even know what I'm saying here. friend just made me a gorgeous iced latte which I'm gonna sit down now drink and enjoy I might need to put some honey in it because there's no syrup out here so I'm gonna put some honey in it to sweeten it these are the views so this is this is where we sit and eat well, we've sat and eaten in a few different locations but this is where we sit and have our meals um, so yeah this location is just incredible where we're staying is called Finca Delica um, I'll leave a link to the Instagram down below, but it is honestly so beautiful. You can rent it out for like weddings, occasions, parties. Um, yeah, it's really, really gorgeous. Hike time, everyone. So we went on a hike yesterday and we're going on a hike again today. Any details about this hike, Catherine? Um, it's supposed to be a bit more chill. But oh, okay. Well, that's, yeah, that's the guy just went, good luck, <laughs> like from the good Taken luck. film. <laughs> good luck. I will find you and I will kill you. Um, but well, yeah, there is a nice lunch and a nice little villa at the end of it. So gorgeous. Nice. Okay, that sounds good. When we say a nice little lunch, it's probably <laughs> no, it's Avo. <laughs> it's probably some pea shoots. Um, but the views are absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to show you guys around where we're staying in a bit. But so bliss. Oh, sorry. we have just finished our hike I'm gonna be completely honest today's hike was so much harder than yesterday's yesterday's was a doddle compared to that honestly literally was vertical for points like literal rock climbing but we've made it now to basically where we're staying um, it's a place called Finca Delica and they have two locations and we're just at their second location currently that they've literally just finished building they're literally just finished building it now um it is so incredible like one of the most beautiful locations i've ever seen like 
this is going to become such a spot in Ibiza. Although I, I say that, it's not exactly like a hotel. It's more like a venue that you can rent out. The ho You'd only be able to rent it out as like a whole entire venue for like a wedding or like a function or like a party or something. But I'm going to show you in a minute how unbelievable it is here. Like, I've never seen anything like it. Um, so yeah, plan is now we've had some lunch. Luckily, <laughs> I got some pasta. Everyone else had um, chicken broth soup, but... If I had that, I simply would have just actually not made it to the car and back to our location. So I was like, no, it has to be carbs. I can't, like, I'm really embarrassed as well because I'm like the only person here that's really like truly failed at like the really healthy eating. And there's like quite a few women here. So yeah, that's really saying something. I have a serious problem. We were just looking around the main suite in this, I keep, I don't know what to call it, in this villa. And I've never seen anything like it. I'm gonna insert some videos here honestly insane um although i just found out the price to rent this whole venue for a week <laughs> eye watering literally eye watering but having a wedding here or something would just be like insane gorgeous girls we're in villa number two yeah i've been telling them about um right thank you <laughs> also i want to share with everyone how much it is to rent that place for a week did you guys hear about that I know, but are we allowed to share that? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's online. It's £120,000 for one week. But to be fair, when we calculated it, I think it was like £800 a night per room, which, no, but I don't, I, like, that is a lot. But like £120,000 is like, it that figure like is not lot. even, it's astronomical. It's like but £800 a night is more like, okay, I can wrap my head around that. Girl math, <laughs> the yeah. girl math is mathing. Yeah. Also, Emily, you've got full on tan lines. Have I? Yeah. I myself. Tan lines well. for her. Wow, ah! so gorgeous. <laughs> We've had such a nice afternoon here. All of our phones have died because we don't know how long we were going to be out for. Just quickly, I want to show you what my room looks like from the outside because you lot will probably piss yourselves because this is what I mean about. Princess Fiona vibes, ready? So, right there is the whole thing. That's like the three floors of my room with the flag on top and everything. One of the girls sent me a picture of the castle turret the other day when I was inside it and she was like, it just makes me laugh so much to think that you're just inside there by yourself, like in a full on tower waiting for Tommy Fury to come and rescue me. <laughs> but yeah, that's my room. But honestly, this place is just incredible. Like I say, you can actually only rent it out as like a whole location. I'm back at the room now. <laughs> I'm literally exhausted. I feel like honestly, I have done all of the things that I said I wasn't going to do. Like, I'm not gonna do the Pilates, I'm not gonna do the hikes, like, and I've literally done everything. Like, I've done everything that's on the itinerary. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm so glad I did it though, because like I said this morning, like I'm just not, I think I was saying this morning, I'm just not a spoiled sport, like even though I probably shouldn't have, like, and do you know what, I say I shouldn't have, I've actually felt fine, so maybe I'm coming towards the end of like my glandular fever. <laughs> I cannot say my glandular fever era, no Molly, like you actually cannot say that because that was a joke, but I feel like some of you probably won't think I'm joking. Um, but I thought just before I head down for dinner, um, <laughs> I say dinner but honestly like the, that's the one thing I'll say over the last few days I have struggled with has been the food um just because I really feel like I can't remember what I have said and what I haven't said but I feel like this trip has really made me realize how much I eat at home because everyone here has been absolutely fine and like I've had to basically every single meal ask for like additional food I'm like I just I don't know. I've been fish, but obviously I don't eat fish, guys, do I? So that's been a bit of a problem. Um, so yeah, it's been like lots of vegetables, lots of grains, lots of like um, quinoa, soups, basically everything that I'm like not good with, to be perfectly honest. But Rose, the nutritionist here, has been so lovely. And she's literally like got them to make me like pesto pasta and like rice and stuff when everyone else has been eating exactly what the menu says. And I'm just here with like my child's dish of pasta. I can't do it, like. So I'm just not grown up. I'm not adult enough for that kind of food. We're gonna head down for dinner now, but I'm just gonna quickly show you the room whilst it's somewhat tidy. So these were the stairs up to my room. I'm literally in like a tower. It's truly giving um, Princess Fiona. So this was my room. Oh, it would have been so much nicer to show you in the daylight because right now it is so dull. Um, but my bed, I had a round bed. How cool is that? Honestly, in the daylight, this room was absolutely beautiful. Um, and then my bathroom, just through here. 
nice double sink situation. And then this is where, um, through that window, up on that balcony there is where everyone did Pilates and stuff. Whenever I was running late or sat on the toilet doing my business, I could just see everyone up there. It was really a great view, to be honest. And then I'll show you quickly what was on the next floor of my room because it's like a three floor room. It's just insane. So another set of stairs. Oh my goodness, I left all the doors and windows open. How insane. So these are my views out of my castle room. This is the sitting area. How beautiful is that? So Pinteresty, so total. Again, much nicer in the daytime, but obviously didn't think to come out. <laughs> didn't think to show you in the daytime. And then this was my own private little balcony area. That's a bird calling to me. I just love Ibiza so much. Being out here the last few days has reminded me how much I just absolutely adore Ibiza. It just has such a special energy here. Obviously, it's a special place to me anyway because the last time we were here, Tommy did ask me to marry him. Like, I did become a fiancé. I'm not even in focus. Um, yeah, last time I was here, I became a fiancé. So, obviously, it's going to always hold an extremely special place in my heart. But... Besides that, it's just unbelievable here. Like, I can see why so many people move out here and want to live in Ibiza. I just think it's special. I've never been out here at this time of year. Obviously, we're in March now. And I've, like, fallen in love with it even more being out here in March because we've the weather has just been so gorgeous. It's been, like, hot but breezy. And it's just been so quiet and peaceful. There's, like, no one on the island. It feels like a ghost town, but it's so tranquil and yeah i don't know i just if you've never been to ibiza before like put it on your list because it's just for me personally a really truly gorgeous place and the birds they they call to me when i'm here in the island like they know i'm here and they call to me and they want to connect with me um so yeah i've got my cozy skims tracksuit on for dinner i also got some new flip-flops which I want to share with you guys because I had to remortgage the house to buy these. Um, someone told me they were cool. They're from a place called The Row. Um, you don't want to know how much I spent on these flip-flops for a plain pair of flip-flops, but I'm, to be fair, I've literally not had them off my feet the whole time I've been here, and I'm hoping these are going to last me all spring, summer, which I'm sure they will. Anyway, down for dinner we go. I'll show you what we're having. I'm sure it's something very green, something very healthy, but I'm sure Rose will sort me out me something and they're all really excited because they're having um margaritas and no i don't mean the pizza they're all having margaritas the drinks but obviously i'm not really going to benefit from that because i won't be drinking it if they could give me margarita pizza now that is something i could definitely get on board with like, thank you thank you very much i'm putting i'll put them all on my baby and pick okay perfect or pick whatever you want have you got any good fruit fries on yeah i've got a few from hikes on here i think it's good like <laughs> I love that. Hi. What do you want to say? Oh, toast, toast, toast. Yeah. 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 I did. I want to be an amazing group, and I know Bryony has loved it too. It's been you've been an amazing group. And I just wanted to say thank you so much, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Guys, I crumbled. I've totally crumbled. I'm so happy right now. I think I could cry. What else do I want? What else am I gonna get? Um, salt and vinegar lays, yeah. Milk and biscuits. I'm having a bit of that. I could cry. I won't, but I could cry. As you will have seen, guys, I crumbled at the last hurdle. Now I have a terrible stomach ache. Um, and another thing, way TMI, but I haven't been to the toilet in like three days now. I don't know why it must be to do with this like healthy eating thing but like i've been having like lots of fiber but clearly not enough fiber because um yeah i can't go to the toilet so love that like brilliant i didn't mention it was the last day today because i just didn't want to like tell you guys that i'd like failed at vlogging the whole time but um i'm probably gonna vlog a little bit more when i get home just because i'm probably aware this isn't that long of a, a vlog which i don't like i've literally had the nicest couple of days but i'm also so ready to get home and see bambi because i miss her so much i've been on the phone to her like so many times whilst i've been here but also like another thing i wanted to mention that this is actually the first trip i've done for me all the trips that i've done over the last year have been for work um in terms of when we've not gone away with Bambi, any trips that I've done have been for work. And this is the first trip I've done 
without Bambi or without Tommy that has been for me. Um, it actually wasn't really meant to be like, f when I said yes to coming away, it was actually because I thought, well, I'll do all my work over those couple of days in Ibiza and I'll get better content out there. I can start sort of like my spring summer content. I had a few like ads and things I needed to film whilst I was out here. And I just thought like I could work and also retreat at the same time. Um, but because, like I told you guys at the start, Erin couldn't come out with me anymore. I kind of just decided to like surrender to the fact that this was going to be a retreat. And yeah, this is like the first trip I've done in like over a year that's actually been for me. Anyway, guys, let's get back to Manchester for my Ibiza tomorrow and we will catch up at home. Night, guys. If only getting back home was as quick as that camera transition. <laughs> I am now back. It's late in the evening, but this is my current setup. I've got the whole bed to myself. There is honestly, for me, no place like home. What you're looking at right there, that right there, that spot, that pregnancy pillow that I still use for my pregnancy. And no, I am definitely, definitely not pregnant. But that spot right there, no place in the entire universe could beat that spot. Like, there is not a country, there is not a hotel, there is not a place in the world that for, that is better than bed for me. Bed and home and just, yeah, being in my, my tranquil little space, which I love so much. Right, let's catch up. Hey, guys and gals, I've touched down now for my Ibiza. In my bed, in my happy place. Oh, honestly, I could cry. I just love my bed so much. Like, many a happy moment in this bed for me. Um, and I've got it to myself tonight because Tommy is on a night out. Tommy's brother, Roman, who fought in Saudi Arabia recently, who won his fight, they're having their, like, night to celebrate the win tonight. So they're out. They're out, out tonight, which is fine. I did see him when I got back and stuff. He was here this afternoon. I've got the bed to myself. I'm so excited for, like, a really wholesome Sunday tomorrow. I really want to get a roast dinner because, like I said... Last Sunday on Mother's Day, I was so poorly, I was in bed. I'm just so glad to be feeling so much better. I'm definitely, definitely still not 100%, but compared to, like, this time last week, I feel like a different person. I'm so, so pleased I went away on the trip. I feel like it was so good for me, but I am most definitely happy to be back in my own bed now because, like I say, there is just no place like home. I've got a really exciting video coming next um, about something that I haven't shared to you guys yet. It's nothing, like, major, but for me, it's been, like, a little surprise for someone that I've been working on and yeah I'm gonna vlog what's going on next week which I'm so excited about if you made it to the end of this video I love you guys a million thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all in my next one bye guys